what's going on guys welcome back to the channel come on keeping it real good morning good morning good morning it's hump day i did not get back to the motel last night until 11 p.m i actually went and seen my niece and her family i haven't seen them in two and a half years i think it was great to sit there and catch up they got beautiful country around though this is the best views that I have seen uh, since I've been here in Alabama uh, they live out there where the mountains and stuff start it's gorgeous out there it was a nice little ride out there they're only about 20 minutes away from me and uh, so I went out there after I got off work I actually got off work a little bit late last night I didn't get back to the hotel last night until probably about 6 6 30 somewhere around there so it was a long day yesterday, but a very eventful day. Um, I tore two of the plants that we work um, at. We work, I work at, let's see here, one of the plants was more of like a cooked foods type plant, and the other one was a raw plant. So one, what that means is one of the plants that I work at is where we process the chickens and all of that stuff. And uh, you know, that's when they come in and they get processed and de-plucked and separated and deboned all the thighs and stuff like that that you get at the grocery store and the breast and all of that other stuff like butterball and all that that sell that kind of chicken so one of the plants do that and then one of them uh is a cooked one and we work with a bunch of different vendors like a uh, chicken fillet and butterball and uh quite a few other restaurants and stuff i don't really know them all off the top of my head but uh, we make all the stuff for them. So for everybody out there that loves them some chicken filet, it's funny being that I was just talking about chicken filet the other day and I'm like, ah, not really my, my cup of tea. I mean, it's, I like it, but it's not the best in my opinion. Um, I think it's one of the better fast food places, but I just don't see the hype in it. Well, we're actually the ones that uh, make all the chicken for them. So that was kind of crazy to learn. I didn't realize that we made it for chicken filet and uh, quite a few other restaurants and stuff. And also a lot of the stuff in the grocery stores. So I actually got to see how all that that's made. I got to see how your chicken sausage and turkey sausage and all of that stuff's made. And the automation and the machines and this uh, cooked food side. I don't, where I work, we don't have a cooked food side. We just have a processing plant where they come into the plant and we process them and separate them and stuff for the raw food but uh the cooked food side here was a uh, very very interesting there was the automation it's we have more people working in our plant um there where i work than they do there on the cook side but they produce all of that is because it's a really really automated and there's I mean, the engineering that has went into these machines is insane. Um, you ever seen that show, uh, How It's Made, um, on Discovery, I think it is, or something like that? Well, yesterday was kind of like one of those days for me live. So it was kind of cool to see all of that. Um, I got to meet a couple of really nice people uh, that I work with and kind of helped out I was able to pick their brains um, with an established because this office that I'm at right now and these plants that I'm at right now is kind of like the flagship for the company I work for so it was cool to be able to pick their brains and see the processes that's in place and stuff like that being that I've never worked at a chicken processing place before and it's completely different as far as on an IT uh, standard they kind of do things a little different and uh, the company that I work for where I work for um, I mean I'm the IT so to be able to see the processes that's already in play and stuff and what I need to do to get this plant caught up to that was so valuable so valuable to me I learned a ton really nice guys really nice people all the people that I met were very very friendly um, I'm going back there again this morning it's pretty early figured I'd bring y'all down to the pool this morning give you all a different view than the truck or the hotel room or something like that I have not had a chance to get in it because I have been too busy um, and it doesn't look like I'm going to get in it because tonight um, after work and I don't know how late I have to work 
I'm actually going to go pick up my niece's kids, which is my great nieces and great nephews, and uh, take them out to dinner. Um, my niece and nephew, they work for a, I wouldn't say world famous, but definitely a famous around the United States restaurant called 50 Taters. And I'm gonna be going live from 50 Taters tonight with my great nieces and great nephews. So you don't wanna miss that. Um, when I actually told them I was gonna take them to dinner tonight, I forgot I even go live tonight. And I was just like, wow. And so after I left, I called them and I said, hey, how loud is that restaurant gonna be tonight? Cause I normally go live on Wednesday nights. And they said it should be quite enough for me to go live. Wednesdays is one of their slower nights. And they said they'll give me a table kind of that kind of helped with that whole situation. So tonight's gonna to be a special live. I will have my great nieces and my great nephew and maybe even my niece and nephew that actually work there on the live tonight and uh, just do it for live on location, a little something different. So I'm looking forward to that and they're looking forward to being on my live and being on YouTube. Um, they're younger, I mean, they range from second grade to one of uh, one of my great nieces, uh, she's in a, a tech program right now for nursing. Um, she wants to be a nurse, and she also works at the emergency room uh, part time too. So, very proud of her. She is out there grinding and getting it done, and a very motivated young lady. And so, I don't get to see them that much, and I don't get to spend as much time as I would like with them. So. Um, I was only going to see them one night, but then whenever I found out at what time they work and how far the restaurant was and all that, the restaurant's about 45 minutes from my hotel, so that's not too bad. So what I'm going to do is whenever I get off work, I'm actually going to go straight there and pick up my great nieces and nephew and take them to the restaurant. And uh, I'm also taking my older great niece's uh, boyfriend out too and sit grill him a little bit and see what he's really about. Come on. <laughs> She's all worried. She, she's she's like, are you gonna be nice, Uncle? I was like, yeah, I'll be nice, but uh, we're gonna find. Do you know that the boy microwaves his pizza rolls? Now, do you microwave your pizza rolls? I told her. I said, you know, the fact that he microwaves his pizza rolls. I said that's a red flag. I said so. We're gonna uh, we're gonna need to check that out and see what's really going on with that situation. So she's all nervous that I'm gonna be grilling him and stuff, but it should be fun. And uh, it's funny too, he's got him a little mustache and stuff, so I was making fun of that a little bit. So I think I'm gonna have fun with it. I think I'm uh, scared the bejesus out of him. <laughs> but uh, I'll be nice, I'll be nice guys. But definitely looking forward to it. And then, so I'll probably get back to the hotel late tonight as well. And then I gotta get my butt up in the morning and get on the road to Florida. Uh, my daughter sent me a picture of my granddaughter this morning. She just got her hair cut. Hold on one second. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> she took that picture this morning. Wanted Papa to see. Wanted to see her new haircut. She still don't know I'm going, guys. So that's pretty cool. Um, She's gonna be so shocked when she sees me tomorrow night. So I, I'm looking forward to that. I gotta get up early and get on the road. It's gonna be a long drive. I haven't quite Googled it yet. I think it's around eight hours, about eight, eight and a half hours, something like that. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, seeing her surprise whenever I walk in. And I don't really know about my younger granddaughter or what she's gonna think about it because you know, she's younger. Um, so I don't know she's at the age I guess where you know she don't really know time and how long it's been and that kind of stuff I'm sure she'll be excited to see her, her papa but um, I don't think it's going to be quite the shock to her that it's going to be with my oldest granddaughter so I'm definitely looking forward to that as you can see I got my monster kicking this morning because I need it I am tired my eyes are looking old this morning guys old uh, lack of sleep it's been a been an eventful trip so far a very productive trip um, I'm glad that the uh, guys and stuff that I went and met would work was really really cool guys we went out to lunch yesterday with uh, corporate and them we went out to the mellow mushroom 
I don't know if y'all ever eat at a mellow mushroom or if there are in y'all's area. Leave it in the comments if you have. And if you have, what is your favorite pizza there? But the first time I ate there was in Texas. Um, first time I ever seen that place. And they got some really, really good pizzas and some crazy combinations if you want them. So it's definitely different. But I enjoyed it. We got all the staff coming into the hotel right now getting ready to get her done, get all these rooms cleaned and stuff. They do got a good continental breakfast here. They got waffles and pancakes and eggs and sausage, a couple different types of sausage, omelets, fruit, cereals. I love hotels that's got good breakfasts because breakfast is my favorite, favorite meal of the day. And I am not used to being able to get a hot shower, get a breakfast made for me and all of that. And also just have quiet air conditioner. So it's been kind of, been kind of nice uh, kind of coming back on the grid it ain't some it's been a while now I mean I got to thinking about it last night it's been four months uh, since, since I've went completely off grid so just to have hot water on demand there's something to be said about that I've been here for two days and I think I've taken three showers and uh, I'll be taking another one so in two days once I take a shower and stuff tonight so that'll be four showers in two days so I'm enjoying the hot water I ain't even gonna lie to you so definitely cool on that I got a couple of comments that said they like my thumbnail on my uh, video yesterday of me pointing at the shower head um, that's the most exciting thing for me up until last night when I got to see my family but that was the most exciting thing for me since I've been here was uh because the view wasn't that great coming here but when I seen that uh shower head there with the on-demand hot water now that's something right there whenever you ain't got it you know it's very easy to take for granted the small things like that um in life you know like just where you can just on demand turn water on and brush your teeth or wash your dishes or take a shower or something like that or just go to the bathroom easily and all that it's very easy to take that for granted whenever it's that just turnkey society and stuff like that but whenever you go off grid like me and then you come back and uh you appreciate things like that and it also makes you better with uh cons conservation conservation or something like that um conservation maybe that's the word i'm looking for you know like before you know you brush your teeth you leave the water running and you just brush your teeth and you're wasting all that water and stuff well when you live out there and you got to monitor all your water that you use and you know crank up generators to use it and it runs gas to use it and all that other stuff you don't just leave stuff running you know what i mean so i have found that i don't like i can serve the water when i'm brushing my teeth and stuff like that and i typically take pretty fast showers and stuff there at the off-grid thing too and uh i did actually uh take longer showers here because i didn't have to conserve as much and just kind of take it in and enjoy it but it's funny how only in a couple of months you start training yourself to like shut the water off and stuff like that I, I found myself in the first shower here to actually like reach down to shut the water off to conserve the water and the heat that's in the water and, uh, and I'm like oh yeah I'm at, a, I'm at a hotel I got on demand hot water so it's crazy how quick your body can start training to, to go to that you know you think you need all of this stuff but you really 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 don't so it, it doesn't take long to conform to that oh I could use two of these big old monsters this morning man I am tired I ain't even gonna lie to you and uh, we're only on do it day what is it Wednesday I left Monday so we're on day three I still got seven more days to go but I know whenever uh, I get to Florida, boy, I'm gonna sleep good because I know my granddaughters are going to wear me out. They are gonna keep me busy. I can see it now. So that trip from Florida to Mississippi is gonna be a, a long ride for me because I'm sure I'm gonna be tired come Monday morning. But I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so looking forward to it. I'm definitely feeling better and stronger every day. I'm glad I'm getting past that bronchitis. I still have a little bit of stuff um, that I cough up every once in a while, but I'm definitely on the tail end of it, and uh, I'm not stressing myself too much. I mean, I'm not getting a lot of sleep and stuff, and I'm staying busy, but physically, I'm not working real hard right now, so it's a good little trip to recover from that as well. 
it's crazy. Two weeks ago, I was stuck in a cabin sick by myself, and now I'm on the road going across the U.S. So, whew, staying on the move, guys, staying on the move. But I'm going to go enjoy some of that continental breakfast that they got up in there, eat me some of those groceries, come on, and go ahead and get my butt on the road to the plants because I got another full day with corporate and the local people here at the plants. Um, we're going to dive into the back end of stuff a little bit more today. So looking forward to that. My brain will be hurting by the end of the day, I'm sure. But hey, got to make that money, baby. Well, until we see each other again, guys, hey, hey, come on, keep it real. Hump day. Be productive, guys.